Morning all. I thought I'd have um, another 15 minute game today. Uh, many of you enjoying the longer game or 15 minutes. Sometimes it ends up with a short video anyway. If it has not too many moves. can be a short video potentially. Um, so the title players on the ICC at the moment. Dark Ocean. Is he playing a game? If we quickly observe Dark Ocean. So he's playing black against a 3180 near his rating. Vladimirovich. Okay, how did this game start? The French defence, Winnower with bishop a5. Aha! Uh -huh. This bishop a5 is a bit novel, but I thought there was a theory for white to get an advantage. But it seems as though. Um, so, who is Dark Ocean playing this uh, bishop a5? Korobov Anton, he's a 24 year old. Who's two six seven one? Korobov, blimey, only twenty four and two six seven one. <laughs> and who's Vladimirovich? Doesn't say his name. Okay. So just while we're waiting for a fifteen minute game, so knight c four. So, is White having difficulty getting this pawn back? Bishop b2 is ruled out. Now, Bishop b2, there's c3, I guess. Oh, there's Bishop c3 for the pin on the Queen. Oh, we've got a game. Okay, I'll just try and stop that observation game. And we'll play Sicilian, so 1472. So I'm above 2100 for the first time. Get some stats on this guy, just out of interest. Okay. He hasn't been too far above um, this rating. So I'm just playing a, just, I don't know, to castle. Well, he's going to play for d4. This looks like a good setup for White so far, if he plays for d4. Getting a kind of nice centre. Although it's knight e4 on, rook e4, d5, or just d5. Knight e4 is more forceful. Knight e4, rook e4, d5. So he takes, he could liberate my bishop, I get the bishop power. I think I'll do that. There's bishop e6, so I'll bishop e6, rook e4, d5. I'm hoping this is okay. Whoa! Okay, uh, it's a bit sharp. Not losing a piece, I hope. D takes queen d5, there's knight f6. Bishop d5, there's knight f6. I think I've got to uh, play takes. Okay, so knight f6, some nav de pawn. So I'm threatening knight d5 and bishop e6. What about just d5 now? Center pawn, thanks very much. So I'm going to play bishop c5 for knight e4, or knight e4 immediately. Knight e4 versus bishop c5. Bishop c5 is bishop g5, so I think I'll play knight e4 immediately for bishop c5 and queen b6. Targeting the Achilles hill, which we've seen in the classic Morphe game. Can it be taken here? Knight f2 takes bishop c5, bishop e3. There might be d4 there. Is it all worth it? What about just knight takes c3? If f5, of course d5 is loose. I think just knight c3. Okay, so now I could play bishop e6. There's no knight g5 at the moment. Bishop e6. Okay, okay, I think I'll take that. And if takes, then I can look for bishop c5 takes with the queen. Takes to the pawn. Well, let's not put pressure on d4, I think. Queen b6, rook c8, that sort of thing. Okay, getting control of the C file. Pawn up. Anything useful here? He's got a bit of pressure. Right, just Queen C7, and then B6 later. 
of rook c1, maybe just queen d6. I need to play uh, to get rid of this pressure on the b file. So queen c2 would be useful. It's getting the c file now. That's annoying. With rook c1. Have I underestimated him? Okay, I'll play rook. Humble rook move away, but he's controlling the C file. <laughs> it's not good news. Whoa. Okay. Maybe bishop d2 to b4, but he's losing d4. I can take him bishop c5. If bishop d2. Okay, but he's piling on the pressure. I can defend maybe with bishop d8 later. So that rook d7 or bishop d8. It's not that pleasant really. What about evicting this bishop? And then for rook c4 would neutralize the c file. Not losing a piece just yet because he hasn't doubled. But it's getting dangerous. Okay, okay, now I there's no rook c4 though. He just dominates the c file. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Do I allow the rook to come in? I haven't got much choice. So rook c3, queen c3. Looks looks pretty handy. Mind you, as soon as an infiltration happens, maybe queen a3 there, that's on a2. Okay, so I'll, I'll do that. Maybe h6, because otherwise bishop h6 is going to be useful. Take him with the rook. Well, I'll play h6 anyway. I suppose you can go for my poor a pawn. So I'm only a pawn up. <sighs> only a pawn up, but he's got c file control as well. Is this going to be embarrassing? Oh dear, got to be careful. There's no immediate threat there. What if I just played? What about Bishop G5? Rook D7, Queen D7. Bishop G5 might be useful. Try and get the Queen's F4 later. Mind you, then D5 will drop. Okay, so what about Rook D8? If I play rook d8 for the moment, rook c6, queen d7. I'll play rook d8. Protecting d5 a bit more. Piling on the pressure. Okay. So a5, is that a serious threat? What if I play a6 here? Am I getting into more issues? Hmm. A5, no, let's just weaken B6. So A5, Rook, B3. Not so easy. A6, and then Queen D7. I could try A6 and weaken B6, and there's Queen C6. I can take in Rook B8, but there's Rook D5. I can try and get past Pawn, sacrifice D5. So rook d6, b5 takes takes, rook d5, b4. I can go for that. I've, oh, there's no a6 actually. He just takes. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Hang on. So what am I saying here? I could go for queen d7. Let's try for queen d7. Doesn't seem to be any major issue of queen d7. Just get the queen out of there, poking into my position. Okay, so there's a bit of nagging pressure here. This is an uncomfortable position. Pawn up. If I didn't play h6, it would be a disaster almost. Back row, no, it's still rook d8. Okay, if rook c8. So, uh, ah, okay. 
Queen F5 is that out of the question? It's not ideal. He's going to play A5. Maybe I can just take. If I can get to play rook c8, there'll be a nasty pin actually. Is that just in time, king h7, to avoid it being check? Rook c8. He's got rook c5 there. If he plays a b, I could just take. Takes, takes. Pawn's not queening, I think. So I'm going to set that little trap for a5. If I move the king out. Be useful in its own right. There's no rook f6 with a check because I can just take, I think, without my queen being vulnerable, it's protected. So he's going to play a5. Let's play check. So if g6, that's annoying, there's rook f6. Okay, if I move the king back. Again, he's got a real bad grip on the position. <laughs> Difficult to rest out his grip. He's got rook c7 coming up. Unless I sack a pawn back, I think I'm going to have to. a5, off of b6, I can play rook c8. Try and get the c file. I think I'll try that. It's starting to look a bit nasty. This position, I'm trying, going to try and get the trump cards. If it means losing b6, then so be it. Also, he's also slaughtering me on the clock. <laughs> so it's so much for the rating difference. He's absolutely slaughtering me on the clock as well, dominating the c file. Okay, so I'm trying to change that at least. And rook c4 that might be handy here. So on a4 at least. And he's not winning the bishop here with queen b1 check, is he? So a4. I can play g6 now. I hope. So is a4 vulnerable? So queen, oh, he's on f7 now. So queen e6. Why you rook b6? I don't know. Queen e7. But I play king g7. Why didn't I play king g7? Now, now it's possible to play king g7 anyway to protect f7. Um, forcing horrible. Unless rook c6, if I don't want to onto the threat, I end up with no advantage at all in the position. Or do I have a useful pass pawn? If I play queen e7, queen e8, harassing my queen. Uh, it's rook b4, I don't want to lose a pawn. So I'll play queen, I can't play queen d7. So I've got nothing in this position, it's equal on material. A4 is a bit loose, D4 is a bit loose. Okay, maybe I've got something, but he's, he can just keep harassing. He's keep harassing me. There's Rook B4 here, that's useful. Or is it Queen A5? So I'm actually tied down quite a lot. As Bishop takes D4, it's Queen D5. <clears throat> It's becoming a lost position now. Um, 
bishop takes d4, queen d5, rook a4, rook b7, check on a1, for like queen e5, maybe that's possible. I'll try it. Doesn't look that pleasant. Actually, I'm on the rook, so maybe queen d5, bishop e3, because I'm on the rook. So, 5 minute 48. Ah, so, this most, must be the most unpleasant game versus uh, someone of his rating. If I take on e3, am I saving the bacon here? Queen c4, bishop takes b6. Queen bishop e3, I can't see why that's bad. Immediately, I'll play bishop e3. I suppose he could just take on e3. Nope, okay. Things look a bit brighter all of a sudden. <laughs> He's crushed me on the clock. 15 minute game against the 1472. Dominating for most of it, a pawn down. Having to give a pawn back, and still he's dominating. And he just tactically uh, blunders. <clears throat> Alright, so Queen C5. That would seem good on F2. Alright, I can take on F2 now. I play Bishop C7 if needed, or just Queen G1. Blimey, that was scary for for a moment. Got one point for that. <laughs> Two one zero nine, but um scary for a moment. So D five, okay, I'll pawn up. And somehow this was a tricky position. He's kind of got pressure on the queen side, especially after bishop a six. And really, it's probably equal. Um, it's got check. It's got enough for the pawn, it would seem here. So I'll give the pawn back, try and get some pressure for the pawn. Uh, now he's still got pressure, he could have just carried on attacking my queen, I think. But, um, whoops. He didn't. Play queen b5. So bishop takes d4 is actually probably a good move in the circumstances, but bishop d4, rook d4, he can take knight e5. Check. King h2, queen h3, g3. In that position, maybe there's queen e4 actually. Okay, so I want a piece there. Um, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks so much.